Greetings all. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a ramp for your robot vacuum cleaner. This is what uh, mine looks like. And here's a video of my robot going down the ramp. Here's a video of it going up the ramp. And here's a video of the robot cleaning the ramp itself. This ramp is made from structural ply with uh, several layers on top of one another in a staircase kind of arrangement. Whether you can use this solution or not depends upon perhaps three related factors. The first one being the maximum gradient or angle with which your robot can go up and down. The second being the maximum height at with which your robot can go up and down and the third one being the amount of space that you have to place the ramp. So my ramp is roughly nine and a half degrees. It has a height of 50 millimeters and each step is 12 millimeters and the total width is 216 millimeters. So coming at the ramp at right angles, the robot has no problems handling that 12 millimeters, but it has some difficulties if the height is actually greater than 12 millimeters. And it also has some difficulty coming across at an angle, um, which is somewhat counterintuitive because if that was a ramp rather than a staircase, the gradient coming at an angle would be lower would have a, a more gentle angle but there is some complex geometry involved in that the bottom of the robot sort of moves out like this to um, handle these steps and this is one of the reasons why I've left the ends of the steps square rather than rounding them off and that's so that the robot can always come at one of these two angles which it typically does and if it has a bit of difficulty which is only when it's um, possibly if it's cleaning the step itself uh, then it just sort of comes out at a different angle and it's not a problem. So with respect to the dimensions of this staircase the length of the step is equal to this distance here plus the length of the doorway plus the length of this step and the width is equal to um, this distance here which I decided to make the same as the distance uh, from one side of the robot to the other and the reason for all this is that I wanted to have the robot transition uh, sort of once here if I thought about it as a ramp and then once at the bottom because originally I was thinking of it as being a ramp rather than a staircase and that's what I did although I subsequently found out that it can be a little bit shorter than that so in calculating the number of layers that was just calculated by determining the height of the step divided by the height of the ply itself and then this dimension here the width of every step is equal to the width of the entire step divided by the number of layers and it should be noted that the distance from here to here is the same as the distance from here to here 
So I put that all these dimensions into a spreadsheet, and a spreadsheet's always a good way to do your dimensions because you can double check it before you start cutting. Okay, so what I have here is the spreadsheet that I use to calculate the length of the different steps, the length and the width. I started off with the dimensions that I measured, the doorway, the height of the step, the distance between the edge of the doorway and the left-hand side of the step, and the entire width of the step, which was the width of the robot. You may notice that I said the step is actually 50 millimeters, and here I've put 60. I made a mistake, um, but uh, it worked out okay anyhow. So as I say, the first step is to work out how many layers there are, and that's equal to the height of the step, 60, divided by 12, and that is the number of layers you can see here. Height divided by the, lip, the height of each, well, I've got here thickness. And then the width of each step is equal to the total width of the step divided by the number of layers and just put a little table down here which shows treating the bottom layer as layer number one the width of each one of those steps and then over here I've got the length of each step and that's equal to the doorway length plus the left hand side length plus the step which is off that previous table because as I said uh, the length of this step is the same from the top of the step and also uh, on the right hand side of the step as well and then I just in this part of the spreadsheet just put them into a, a tabular form this stuff over here on the right is just some calculations that I did to enable me to work out how it's going to fit on the 1.2 by 2.4 meter board Some final points to mention. The first one is that the sheets of plywood that I purchased were larger than I could fit in my car, so I had to get the hardware store to cut them into smaller pieces. They weren't able to cut them exactly as I wanted, but they did cut them into something close to what I wanted. And it may be the case that your hardware store can cut it exactly as you wanted, and that's something you may want to do if you don't have the equipment at home necessary to cut them to the precision that you want, particularly with respect to straight edges. The next point is I did nail the layers together using 30 millimeter nails. The reason I did this was that on one of the test runs, the robot pushed the top layer off. And by nailing it all together, of course, you end up with one much heavier mass. I should point out here that I used a function on the Robo Rock S7 Plus app, which is the app that accompanies my robot Robo Rock S7 Plus vacuum cleaner. That it, this function is called Pick and Go, where you can sort of point to a spot on the map and then get the robot to move to that point, which is something you want to do when you're testing out your ramp because you don't want to have it clean all the house and then wait for it to come up the stamp at the step. And also on that app, you could get it to do a spot clean, which I used for the video of cleaning the step. Unfortunately, the spot clean function on the Robo Rock actually covers a very large area, and it was going to be a very long video, so I just cut off the beginning of that with a very short part. And it sort of started off going around the step and then it went down and then it went up the step and it went to the next room and so um, certainly it, it does clean the whole step but it was just going to be too long a video so I just cut that down. Now another point is I was originally going to sand this step down into more of a ramp and I still may do that in the future. The main reason I haven't done this is that it works and generally I don't want to try to fix something that isn't broken because you can always introduce some new errors. 
I'm not sure what errors I could introduce really other than perhaps if I didn't have the precision to make it really nice and flat. I have seen other people build ramps. I should point out that the solution I have here doesn't require any change to the maps. It just kind of, or this ramp just works with the robot without any clever programming or anything like that. It works whether you use a map or whether you just turn it on with the button on the top of the robot. If you are going to smooth the ramp down, then at the ends of each plank where it's square, you would want to turn that into a quarter circle so that as you rounded it up, you've got this continuous curve. And I think there is some possible issues that that may create, but uh, which is one of the reasons why I haven't done this. So in summary, it's a very simple task that works very well. And hopefully you'll find this useful. Let me know in the comments below if you build a similar step and let me know how that goes. If you want a copy of the spreadsheet, then leave a comment below and I will post it somewhere where it's publicly accessible and leave the details of how to get it from there. So I'll see you another time.